Hello and welcome to Fenextra. I'm here with James Redfern of EWISE. Thanks very much for joining me, James. Thank you. So how is the market for aggregation services evolving? In a couple of key ways, I'd say. Firstly, competition. Um, a massively competitive market uh, with the financial industry having new entrants coming in, the challenger banks, the fintechs, all introducing new products, making it a little bit more complex for the consumer. A lot more choice, which is fantastic for the consumer, but more complex for them to manage. And the complexity, they're looking for solutions which are simplification of that, that overall view of their, their financial position that they've got. The answer is not 10 financial products, it's probably an aggregated view of that. And that's really what we're seeing driving it because competition, the data, being able to aggregate that all back into a single view of your financial worth. What technology innovations are shaping personal financial management? There are a number. There's some obvious ones like the, the power you have in your, in your mobile phones, in your laptops, in your tablets, the uh, ubiquitous nature of networking that uh, you can be online 24 by 7 um, with high bandwidth, uh, which means that you can actually create uh, a lot of apps that take advantage of the data that is now available to us within an aggregated world. Um, and provide additional value-added service. The, the other area I'd say that we're seeing a lot of interest in is around, as soon as you have more data, you get the flip side of the coin, which is around fraud, um, and you get a lot of um, work around security uh, and the privacy side of it, so biometrics, uh, personal data vaults, like from, from EYS, uh, enabling a consumer to control the access to that data. Absolutely paramount to making sure that aggregation moves forward. And how are banks responding to the rise of aggregation and how are customers benefiting? I think you're seeing a mixed reaction. Um, some of the big banks, I would say, get it. Um, and they're, they're, they're working some very good initiatives. Barclays are doing a, a big data initiative with the government, plus a whole other range of things there. Um, challenger banks are looking to put aggregation at the heart of what they offer to their consumers. So understanding that, in fact, the consumer has multiple relationships and you're adding value as a service in providing that consolidation or aggregation of it. Uh, and to the consumer, the real value there is um, you, you're changing the, the, the value equation. You're actually entering it for the first time. So you're moving from, we've had B2B, we've had B2C, and now you're seeing me to b And what that is, is the consumer is understanding the value of their data and is now actually actively able to say, well, I'm going to share it with you. I'm going to share it for this long, for this purpose. I'm going to get something back rather than just being out there in the ether being used by anybody who wishes to. So again, that's a massive benefit to the consumers and the, the providers are going to have to work harder uh, for their consumers to get access to that data. And once you're a trusted partner and you get access to that data, you can provide a whole lot more value to the, the consumer. James, thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you for watching.